Greetings again, folks, and welcome again to the fifth lesson from Unarius. Tonight's message will be moderated by Charles Pierce and Madame Blavatsky. Several other wonderful and great minds are here and will be interjecting their mind forces and their intelligences along with the others. Tonight's lesson is on reincarnation and in frequency relationship. We have before us here, as you see, some scientific instrumentation in which we are going to explore, see before our eyes how energy moves. However, before we do that, we shall establish some sort of a continuity between this lesson and the last. It is to be assumed that by now that we have all begun to form some sort of a definite idea or a relationship to the great world of universal energy. It is hoped that by now that each and every one of you have established within your minds something of this great universal God force which we call energy. In whatever dimension or in whatever form this energy appears, whether it is pure energy which lights and heats our homes, or whether it is energy which we see in the solid atomic structures. We can also say that by now that man himself becomes nothing more or less than a conglomerate mass of this energy. Whether this is in the physical form as atomic structures or whether it resides in the realm of the psychic self and in the fourth dimension. In order that you may better understand the transition of energy and in the linkage of the great universal mind of God through these numerous dimensions, it is necessary that you completely understand frequency relationship or the harmonic structures. This will also open up to you a new horizon a new world in which you may better understand the evolution of not only yourself, but your fellow man. In the concept of the true reincarnation will open up to the scientist, the doctor, the psychiatrist of the world of today and tomorrow, new horizons whereby he will begin to understand the basic and factual causes of disease, diseases which are heretofore classed as incurable, and that these diseases in themselves, as they reside in dimensions which are unknown to the savants of this time, will remain incurable until the savants, the learned men of tomorrow, bridge the gap into the realm of clairvoyance or into the spiritual dimension. The future of the earth world, and this is the truth, the future of the earth world is positive, progressive. We promise you, we brothers of the light and space promise you infinitely and definitely that the future of the earth world will be a positive, progressive, far less wars and sickness and all the troubles that you have been involved in in the past because unarius science is a progressive teaching more and more people will get into it and their lives will change you can ask any one of these students and their lives have changed dramatically they wouldn't leave the teachings for anything because if they did they'd go right back into their old past it will be a happy, peaceful way of life 
with each man practicing or using uh, the principle of brotherly love. And when we are conscious of the higher beings, these intelligent beings, who the space brothers are, we receive their love, their intelligence, their inspiration, their direction. 